Hello and welcome to Blogsprout. I'm LJ and today I'm going to briefly talk about the new AI that was announced from Google. So we're going to look at their initial blog post that came out as from the CEO on February 6, 2023. And this is in response to chat GPT. So what we're going to do is just briefly look through what information we've been provided at this point, And then I'm going to discuss how I think this is going to affect the niche site business. So let's jump into it. So here we have the official announcement of the AI that is coming out from Google. It is called BARD, B-A-R-D. And it is currently going to go into A-B testing where random users are going to be able to test this out. So they're gonna go into Google, search for something, and the AI is gonna show up at the beginning looking for feedback. So they show an example on this uh, blog if we scroll down here. So, um, for example, it says, what new discoveries from the James Webb Space Tel Telescope can I talk to my nine-year-old about? And here we go. At the beginning of the Google search result is going to be like a chat GPT answer um, created by the AI in Google. So it'll be interesting to see whether this AI is going to replace featured snippets, um, but it's coming. So it's very interesting to see how that uh, is going to be implemented. Then similarly, here's another example on a phone. It says, is piano or guitar easier to learn and how much practice does each need? And then it looks like at the beginning, again, there is the AI um, generated text from that response. So what you can see in the, you know, in Google is at least in the examples here, we're seeing that is more specific to an entire like question discussion. It's not saying how to play guitar. It's not saying uh, piano versus guitar. You know, it, these are very long queries and I have no idea, you know, if the AI is just going to be used for those types of queries because if someone just types in guitar lessons, Obviously, the AI isn't going to teach it guitar lessons, but if it says, where can I find guitar lessons, maybe the AI is going to answer, but there are also going to be results for local places. So I've been trying to find um, an example of this on my own. I haven't, you know, been tested for it. I've tried on my phone. I've tried on um, on the computer and I just have had no luck. So if you run into this, please let me know how it is. But what we're going to do next is talk about how I think this is going to impact, um, you know, search engine and how I think it's going to compete with ChatGPT. Why I think Google has a leg up over ChatGPT is that it already has the platform. It's already installed into all Android devices. It's the go-to search engine for people. ChatGPT at the moment is harder to get to. You have to be signed in, the servers have been down, um, and you have to specifically go there first to get your answer, but there's no other information provided. But this Google AI now has the ability to answer the, the search query in an AI response and then provide you additional resources. So why I am actually excited that Google is doing this is because something like ChatGPT um, doesn't have that information. And from a content creator's perspective and a niche website builder, the AI is not gonna be able to answer everything. It's gonna be able to basically provide a short answer like the featured snippets is trying to do and then provide additional information in the actual search results. So I think that this is actually really good. The fact that Google's trying to integrate it into the regular search results is basically just another way of it using featured snippets. And I lost all my featured snippets, so <laughs> I'm not really losing anything um, if people also are searching for the, um, you know, the same queries and the AI is responding. Again, this is just my, my theory um, for the implementation of this. And it, to me, it's mind boggling how quickly everybody is responding to chat GPT, um, you know, as far as I know, Google didn't have 
this feature in the plan that they had announced to people. Um, this is in the pipeline that they were publicly promoting and, um, yeah, and publicly promoting. So to see ChatGPT come out and how quickly Google responded to come up with this AI, I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say here is I am not super fearful of this Google AI. I think it just makes it a little bit more challenging for content creators to think in terms of what additional information might a person need on top of what the AI provides. Um, and then I think the biggest challenge that Google and all of these um, AI tools are going to have is the actual accuracy and validity of the information. You know, we have seen Google create featured snippets that are completely wrong. I think at one point I saw, I was like, how many eyes does a horse have? And it was like six or three or something crazy. And finally that's, um, you know, corrected itself. But I do fear with all of these AI bots, I guess, uh, they're not going to have the right information. So we're going to really have to rely on people to provide the right information. I guess what I, you know, would like to see is, um, you know, some site, some sort of like citation or where it's getting like fact checks from or something like that. Um, basically where this AI creates this paragraph and then matches that text to another resource and says, you know, that for more information, go here. Like this has been um, not fact checked, but screened against this website, which seems to be in line. So if the information's wrong here, it's, you know, wrong in this article too. Again, that's something that I don't know if, if it's going to happen. Um, you know, ChatGPT has zero citations and its information isn't necessarily citable. Um, but I just want to kind of start this discussion and give you my opinion on where I think this is going to go. I think it actually has some really, really high potential. Um, supposedly, it's faster than ChatGPT and is less resource um, restricted, which obviously is is great for the end user. Um, you know, it's making AI more accessible, though, which does pose a bit of a threat. But if we can be creative and we start to get more data on how this AI is being integrated, we as content creators can find out creative ways to find new queries that the AI can't really answer. And that's what I've been saying all along about AI is that, you know, you have to, in order to keep up with AI, you want to be ahead of the game and have better and newer information to provide or just provide information that's really, really hard for an AI to make up, such as something based on experience or, um, you know, a, re a review with, you know, physical hands-on um, hands-on experience. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get in the discussion. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say about, again, it's called BARD, B-A-R-D. And if you run into it um, on your phone, on your computer, I would be very interested for you to share um, your experience. If I get anything, I will also be sharing that as well. But I'm sure in the next few days, we are going to be hearing a lot about BARD. And I really wish, really wish that I had some data to um, actually analyze and, and see how um, it works. Because I just think Google's name and accessibility is really the biggest threat. And um, at least at the current moment, but I think it has the potential to be really good for end users, obviously. But there's also, um, you know, gaps in the AI's knowledge that I think we as bloggers can, you know, fill in. So that ends um, the chat here today. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this, this thought process, this discussion. I'm very interested to see where this goes. But if you want to hear more um, of where I think this is going to go and more examples when we get there, please like and subscribe. Um, that definitely gives me uh, some extra encouragement that videos like this are, um, are useful and entertaining to you in some way. 
So uh, thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next video. I'm LJ. This is Blogsprout. Bye.